Okay, here's the Heroid version of the Omnibot. It's um, quite a bit different in a lot of respects. The first thing that you may notice that is different is the remote control is a lot bigger and contains a lot more functions. Built into this part is a voice recognition sampler circuit and then um, the tones, actually in this case I believe it's just regular uh, RF signals are sent back because it responds much quicker than the tone. You can still record everything onto the tape deck that's here but now instead of mechanical switches, all the tape deck functions are electric push buttons because you have them all also here on the transmitter that you can control. In order to train this to recognize the ten commands that it can learn which are forward, turn right, reverse, turn left, stop, light on, and then your uh, tape controls, rewind, play, fast forward, and stop. In order to learn those, you have to go through a series of push buttons here and using the mic button and the mic up here to record the words that you want to use. For example, if you want to go forward, they suggest you use the word advance. And you end up doing that programming four times. So there's 10 things you have to program four times each, or 40 steps. And then if you want to program it for a second user, you can go through those 40 steps again and let the second user, or you, put in their, their words if they want the robot to recognize. Wow. Um, the four times of saying the word and it sampling it is to give the robot, a, the, the circuits, a better chance of recognizing what word you actually said. In other words, to improve it. For example, if you think back on their old Verbot, which was just a few years before this, it wasn't so great at recognizing words. This has f four samples of that one word, advance, to try to pick. And if it's close to it, then it knows that's what you want. Also, it trains the user, me, because I've just said each word four times, I might remember what word I want to say for what I want to do. Now I've gone through these and did that programming off camera because it's boring as hell to hear somebody do that 40 times. Um, the only one it's not responding to is the uh, stop button, which they said to say halt. And it never halts. Uh, a different thing about the controls here also is on the joystick controls on the Omnibot and the Robbie Senior. You know, you push it up and as soon as you release, then that stops. It has an automatic stop. Well, you have a stop button here because once you give it a command, it continues to do that command. And it won't stop doing that command unless you tell it to stop or give it a new function. So, whenever I go into voice mode, I can do everything on here except stop. I then have to switch the switch up here can see you've got um, trans, I don't know, train, train mode is where I was teaching it all the words, voice control when I'm actually using it, or RC mode. So I have to switch over to RC mode and hit the stop button in order to uh, stop it once I'm in the voice control. But I can go to voice, and we can turn the robot on, like so. And now theoretically, if I push this mic button, and say advance, it should do that. Advance. And it didn't. Let's try um, right turn. I got that one. Turn left. Turn left. Hmm. Advance. Alright, let's go to RC mode and try to stop. For all we know, there could be interference, again, from the uh, neon lighting in here. And it might not be getting a, a clear signal. But I'll, I'm back in voice mode again. I'm going to try advance again, because I'm pretty sure that's the word that I said so many times. Advance. There we go. And now I forgot what I said for reverse. So I went to RC mode and just hit that. I'm going to have a reverse button. If I hit that, it'll just keep doing it until you hit stop, for example. If you hit one of the turns, it'll just keep doing that until you hit stop. I'm going to go back around to the back side. 
Okay, on the back side of the robot, there's a whole lot of differences there as well. This is more like the Omnibot 2000 in that they brought in a breakout. You still have the steering adjustment for if the robot isn't moving straight ahead. Um, you have a switch for cutting off the power jack or enabling it. You have two switches for the left and right motors. You can kill them and jacks for uh, interrupting that signal. I think they'd planned on um, more accessories so you could control things other than the tread movement. And uh, let's see if we can get anything on the bottom here. I'll let the camera look at it. If you can see anything, great. The uh, manual. Yeah. The manual says that it, it was still made in Japan at this point. And this was 1985. Uh, right about in here somewhere it says that. And as you can see, it's a very thick manual because it goes through all of those training modes and it talks about all the different features of the buttons quite quite the deal and of course you have the same clock functions where you set the day date time all that so that you can have the robot perform a function at a specific time or date um, if you have a tape in it I didn't bother to put a tape in it because you've already seen the tape functions. So basically, ugh, here's the uh, where you'd insert a tape if you come up with a blank one. You've got that. Main on off. There's one other difference. This one has a uh, built in mic. So if you had a tape in there, you could record your voice on the tape right from the mic, but it also has an input here so you could input. Uh, music or something, whatever you want. It's your master volume control. And as you can see, I already mentioned, instead of the mechanical buttons, it's now all all electric. Haven't actually tried any of those. Let's move. Uh, I'm not quite sure. They've renamed these things up here, so I'm not sure what mode. Okay, so it thinks it's in play. Thinks it's in stop. Fast forward, stop. So it's a, uh, it's a more expensive uh, tape playing unit because all of those functions are now uh, electric instead of being mechanical. So you've got solenoids that engage all those things. But there you have it, your Heroid. You can see it's quite advanced and quite different from the original Omnibot. The Robbie Sr. And if we do the part four, then I guess I'll move on to the Omnibot 2000, which is standing behind all these guys.